Google Optimize is another fantastic tool from Google. We haven't looked at it yet. In this video, we're going to review how you can use Google Optimize to do some A-B testing on your website. This allows us to show two different versions of our website to different people and analyze which of those versions has come out the best. So let's have a look and see how to start using Google Optimize. All right, let's jump into Google Optimize. So this is a really cool tool and I've been starting to use it more and more and figure out all the different things that you can do with it. In this video, we're going to look at A-B testing. Now an A-B test is where you have two different scenarios and you kind of um, deliver those different scenarios to groups of people and you get to see which scenario is kind of resonates more with the person that's viewing it. So it could be an A-B test for an email that you use different subject lines on. In this scenario, we're going to do two different versions or slightly tweaked versions of the same web page. And then what we can do is we can analyze the results and see which version of that page is um, getting the most hits or people are staying on it the longest or whatever it might be. All right, so let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll walk through the setup of it and then we'll move over into my account and we'll set up a new example. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we'll get started. So we're at optimize.google.com. Um, and then there's the usual thing in terms of signing up for emails. We can say, no, I don't want those at the moment and move on next. And then we've got um, choosing account settings. Um, I always typically tend to use the, the defaults until I know otherwise and understand more about it. Um, let's go ahead and accept these. And then we click done. OK, so now we're ready to go ahead and create the first experience. Now, one thing that you might note, and depending on when you are watching this, um, we are currently in the middle of still the COVID-19 pandemic, and they have an option where you can add a banner for that onto your website. So you might want to be saying, hey, here's our here's our current situation on our um, for our organization and have that on the website. So just note that is on there at this moment in time. All right, so we're going to create our first experience. So let's click on Let's Go. And it will give us some options. What is it that we want to actually go ahead and create? So we can see the different versions. We are going to do the A-B test. So I might say um, my website A-B test. And then what is the URL that we are going to use? What is that? going to be. So I'm going to do an A-B test um, for a page that gets a lot of hits and that is something to do with um, creating SSRS reports for multiple entities with Dynamics 365. So it is a blog post that gets a lot of hits and I also have an online course that is about that same subject. So I'm going to do some A-B testing for that. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. OK, so what we are going to do, first of all, is we can link this to Google Analytics. I'm going to go ahead and link to Analytics. And because the Google Optimize account is tied, obviously, with the same Google account that you're using your Google Analytics for, it says, oh, OK, well, here's the um, property that you have. So what do you want to link to? And then any views. So I'm just going to go ahead and do link. Now, the next thing that we need to do before we continue is we need to install. And when we say install, it's not that big of a deal, but we need to install Google Optimize. So in other words, we need to set something on our website so that Google Optimize knows that we own and uh, verify that that is our website. So we can go ahead and we can view the instructions. So we basically need to put this snippet, this um, script snippet into our website. Um, now, if you've been using Google Tag Manager, you can go ahead and use Google Tag Manager and put a new tag for this and go ahead and add it. Um, and then once we've done that, then we basically need to check the installation. Now, I haven't done it on this because I'm going to go back to my site that's all um, set up and use that one instead. But what you can see here, it says you must first install the optimized Chrome extension in order to check your installation. Now, I can click view extension and it will take me to it. 
And from there, I can go ahead and I could add that extension. So you can add it either to Google Chrome or you could put it into um, Microsoft Edge, which is what I'm using instead. All right, so once we've done all that, then we can actually go ahead and we can create our A-B test. So I'm going to switch and I'm going to go to my actual account and we'll move on from there. Okay, so now we're in my actual Google Optimize account and we can see that I have a couple of things that are running currently. I also have some experiences that I have ended, that I created, tested and then, and then stopped. So we can see here we've got an A-B test and we have a personalization test. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Create Experience and I'm going to call this one SSRS um, Online Course. And let's go ahead and we'll change the URL is going to be this one instead. And I'm going to do an A-B test and let's go ahead and click Create. Okay, so because I've already linked my Google Analytics account, we can see there, um, and then we can also see there's that optimized um, installation. Let's go ahead and just check installation, and we'll see what it does. <clears throat> so it, it goes to that page, so it's basically checking to see does the code exist, that snippet, and it says it's correctly installed. So we'll go back to the experience. All right, so what we're doing is we're essentially walking along these different steps until we're ready to go ahead and either schedule this to start running on our site or we want to just start it right away. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to say I want to add a variant. So I'm going to call this one. Um, let's call this uh, top text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three, uh, sorry, I'm going to put a couple of different options depending on when somebody goes to my site and what it'll do is a couple, sometimes it'll show one version, sometimes it'll show another and so on. I'm going to do another variant and this one I'm going to call this sidebar and we'll go ahead and finish. Now in one of my other ones I actually have four different ones. We've got the original then I've got um, a banner that shows, and then I have text that shows, and then I have sidebar text that shows. So we can see there that we've got three different variants. So that means that um, three different people go to my website, they all see a slightly different, different experience. All right, so the original one is this. It's just basically going straight into a blog post, and then we read through the blog post. All right, so let's go ahead and let's edit the top text variant. So what I want to do is when somebody goes and they are shown this variant, so this version of the page, um, what are they going to be shown? Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can do things and you can add, add different things. I'm just going to show you an example. I am going to click on this element, so this piece of this page, and I'm going to go ahead and edit it, and I'm going to edit the HTML. So it really depends on... Do how much do you know? How much do you understand about um, your website and the um, the HTML, the coding of it? So if you're not a somebody that's okay with dabbling, then you might struggle a little bit. But everything that we do here, we're not actually adjusting our website code itself. We are basically saying, okay, we want to display something different, um, but it's not going to change the code of our site at all. So I already have something written up and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in here. So what I'm doing, oh. so let's do this one instead. Let's edit that. Uh, so right above the date, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to paste this in. All right, so let's go ahead and apply. Okay, so now here's our here's our variant. We're basically saying, okay, well, we're going to have this text that will display at the top here. Simple as that. So let's go ahead and save it. Um, then what we can do is from here we can switch and say, right, now let's edit the sidebar. And what do we want to show in the variant for the sidebar? All right, so over here... What I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and edit this. 
and we will put it in here, a new section. There we go. So let's just edit this and we will give it a background color. And let's do the text. Where's the text color? There we go. Perfect. All right. So now what we've got is a sidebar with a button and that button they'll click on. It, it'll take them to the online course page. So let's go ahead and save that. And now we'll say that we are finished. OK, so now what we can also do is notice that we've got a waiting. So this is basically how many times uh, percentage wise will it display this specific variant. So what we can do is we can um, do an even split, which is what it's got now, or I could do custom percentages. So I could say, well, actually, let's go with. Uh, let's do 40. Let's do 40. And then let's do 20. So it has to balance out to 100 percent, obviously. So now we're determining how often that's going to be displayed. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and we can preview. We can do a web preview. We can say, well, what's it actually going to look like? So there is the preview of the page. So this is my original page. And then here is a preview with that specific variant being displayed to the person visiting the website. So it's pretty cool that we can do that. So once we've set all this up, we can also set an objective. So what is our objective? So let's go ahead and choose from a list. So the objective might be um, page views. It might be um, blog subscribers, whatever. So we've got different things. So my objective is actually to complete an event to have someone actually, this is an event that I've already got, that's the objective is that people will actually click on that link and go to it. Now, once I'm done, we can see that there's a green tick for all of these things. I've created my variants, I've added target rules, I've linked to analytics, I've set up my objectives, and now I can go ahead and I can start this. So let's go ahead and just click start. All right, so that's it now. This is actually running. So I'm not going to see any um, analytics. I'm not going to see any data just yet. We'll look at that in our um, part for tomorrow of this series. But this is basically now running, and anyone that goes to this specific page will see different variants depending on, um, like I said, the weighting, the percentage in terms of how often people are shown different things. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.